Joining us now with more in a Kelly file first. New York Times columnist Maureen Dowd. She has a new book out tomorrow entitled The Year of Voting Dangerously, The Derangement of American Politics. Maureen, great to have you here. Thank you, Megan. This is an award-winning, Pulitzer Prize-winning journalist, so we're honored to have you here. I want to start with, because you have been tough, very tough on both sides. And I can't tell who you're going to vote for. I'm not going to ask you that. But it's not like, I know our viewers are thinking, New York Times! But you've been just as tough on her as you have on him. Basket of deplorables. What did you think when you heard that? Well, the first thing I thought is that's my family <laughs> they're talking about. Because Trump I have, supporters. Yeah, because I have essays in the book by my brother and sister who are both explaining why they're going to vote for Trump. And it gave me a very interesting insight into what Paul Ryan and Mitch McConnell must be thinking but can't say. You know, how your kind of average khaki wearing golf playing country club guy like my brother is twisting and turning a little bit about voting for Trump because he really wants Hillary to be defeated but on the other hand after the con family mass you know he called me and he said can I kill the essay and I said no it's already gone to print the so, Muslim family yeah, the uh, Muslim family you know how it is with Trump every day and every hour they changed their mind about whether they can support him. And my sister got off the bandwagon after Trump retweeted the unattractive picture of Heidi Cruz. And I told that to Trump. I said, you, you know, you lost my sister's vote. This is in the book. And he paused and he said, are you serious? And I said, yes. And he goes, well, you know, it wasn't that unattractive a picture. And I said, yes, it was. Why don't you just apologize for it? And he apologized. So that was an to amazing. You. That was an amazing accomplishment. Yeah, yeah. yeah. And that, well, I remember that column because you mentioned me in there and, and my dust up with him, suggesting this is not helping you. Well, I think he also kind of came around and realized that was true of you because the first time I interviewed him in this cycle, he asked me about the question you had asked him at the debate, and I said it is absolutely legitimate. You are going to have to explain all of those misogynist comments about women and, you know, you should have just answered her. And then when the, uh, it continued, I said, there's no way your numbers are dropping with women. There is no way you can take on this respected newswoman and expect to have women come around to you. And I think he thought about that, too. Well, thank you for so. that. It was, I was glad to put that, uh, that mess behind us. But Good. let's talk about her some more, because we, so much has happened just in the past couple of days. You've been studying the Clintons for a long time. Right. Um, this business with her health. Right. They want us to give them the benefit of the doubt now, that it really is pneumonia, that they knew that since Friday, that half the team has pneumonia. Have they earned it? Have they earned the benefit of the doubt, the Clintons? No, and you know, I agree with David Axelrod, who said it isn't about the health, it's about the stealth. The health issue this week is a perfect microcosm of why she has problems. And you know, I spent the, I started covering her in 92 when she first came on the scene, just as I did Trump in 99. And that's why I thought, you know, I could give some context to this. And this is the exact same pattern she follows every time where Trump has his wall and she has her wall of defensiveness and secretiveness and just pushing back. The press can't know anything. And each time it gets worse because that spirals into a snowball and her, the press and her foes get into a frenzy and then the whole thing is so much worse when it starts out as relatively mundane. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and the, what I love about you, some, some people have criticized Maureen Dowd for being too focused on the person and not enough on the policy in her columns. That's what I love. Right. Because we can get the policy anywhere. I like the, the introspection that you can offer um, on any given person. I mean, you force us to sort of get into their psyche. And here's just one line, right, from an excerpt from the book, uh, talking about this is the most epic battle of the sexes between Trump and Clinton. The former first lady and, former, and first woman ever to run for president as the nominee of a major party is going up against a thrice married rat pack reality TV star who still calls women sweetheart and rates their racks. That's just in the introduction. <laughs> this is my kind of book. It's called The Year of Voting Dangerously, and uh, it's got a great cover, too. But it's, it's stories that help you get to know the candidates in a way that's not going to bore you to death. In fact, it's actually really entertaining, and I appreciate you writing it and for being here, too, on the Kelly Bell Maureen. Thanks, Megan. Good luck with it. Thank you.